Thank you, Abraham. Yeah. I love you so much. Yeah. That's natural. Yes. <laughs> I'm extremely pleased that I'm here. And we are all extremely pleased that you are here. Yeah. I knew you were going to call me today. And uh, I got some good stuff to share with everybody. Should I share first and ask my question later, or? <laughs> what do you think is most likely to bring us all to a place we have not been before? Okay, good. In this leading edge conversation, where this combination of beans has never been before. Let's find the new nugget. Thank you. I want to share a story about Thomas Edison. A uh, hundred years ago, in December of 1914, uh, he was 68 years old, and his lab burned to the ground. That lab, that was everything he had. It was like, at the time, it was worth $7 billion. He didn't have any insurance. Overnight, he lost everything. Except his vibrational prowess. Absolutely. He, Except his point of attraction. Exactly. He was very well known to be extremely optimistic. Really? <laughs> in unconditional joy. So at the night of the fire, a fire department called his son because they knew that there is no hope that they're going to do anything there. So they called him and told him to inform his dad the next morning that he lost everything. So he rushed to the site of the lab, and he was very upset. And then he saw his father, Thomas Edison, sitting on a chair, enjoying the flames. <laughs> and he couldn't approach him. Then he, Thomas Edison saw him and asked him to come. He said, wow, these are beautiful flames. Nobody has seen a fire like this. <laughs> and his son said, Dad, are you okay? My whole body is shaking. He said, I'm okay. There's nothing we can do. The fire department is doing its best. We think about it tomorrow. But now, look at these flames. They are beautiful. Wow, that's blue. That must be oxygen. Wow, that's purple. That must be sulfur. You know what? Go get your mom and her friends too. They should have missed this. The next day, New York Times and other newspapers came and he said, all my mistakes burned in fire. And there is a great value in loss. And he lived another 20 years and his company is still around, Con Edison. That's his company. Well, what he knew that his son didn't know at that time is that his beingness, what he had amassed was knowledge. What he had amassed, and we would use different words than he would use knowledge, what he had amassed was a vibrational point of attraction. He understood in some way that there was a vibrational reality that would come quickly back into fruition. The physical manifestation is a temporary thing. The vibrational state of being is an eternal thing. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So he was a master. He knew what's happening in the world. Another thing I Do you, have... We have some questions. Do yeah. you think that he was always and only optimistic? In other words, you were all born that way. And some of you at early ages get talked out of it by pessimism around you. Some of you get talked out of it, don't like how it felt to be talked out of it, remember how it felt when you were optimistic and make your way back to it naturally. Some of you, especially people of scientific bent, because you see everything in science, actually everything in everything, follows these powerful laws of physics. And so to be good at understanding the laws of physics, you have to find some stability in the way the universe works. And so through his trials and errors, as some would call it, through his experimentation, he learned what worked. And in the same way that he learned what worked in 
terms of chemistry or mathematics or science he also learned what worked in terms of emotions he came to know as surely as putting these components with these components will equal this he learned that this emotion put together with this emotion will equal this he learned through life what optimism would bring him he learned to thrive on clarity clarity and alignment are the same thing split energy and clarity are opposite things you see and so in the same way that he was a scientist who learned through doing that's what we're asking all of you to do we're asking you to put yourself in touch with your emotions so that you can discover your clarity in the way that he did yes yes i was going to say that you just observe what worked and what did not work yeah and anything other than joy is not going to work and why if you can get this emotional component in place and begin to notice when things are working how you felt or feel and when things aren't working how you felt or feel and then just start doing the work we'll talk about it more as we're moving through this day how to soften the resistance and how to increase the allowance there are easy things to do but first you got to understand the process and we think you all do about now don't you yeah yes it's a good morning this is a good morning this is a really good morning this is a new morning this is a new day this is a new vibrational point of attraction this is a new beginning this is me new into the world this is me choosing my vibrations more deliberately this is me in this good morning being aware of the way I am feeling this is me being in touch with my emotions this is me a good morning this is me and my good morning being aware of the value of my emotions this is me new in this day with a vortex full of all kinds of things that are readily even immediately some eventually all eventually available to me this is a really good day this is the beginning of me deliberately tuning myself to the frequency that allows my receptive mode this is me in my new day in this good morning allowing myself more than ever before to be in the receptive mode the receptive mode of everything that I've intended everything that I've asked for everything that I've put into the vortex all that I've become full alignment with all that I have become this is a good day this is a new beginning this is a new beginning for me good morning this is a new day today everything in my world will respond differently to me than it has ever before because while I slept all momentum subsided and now that I'm awake I'm taking care to focus in ways that will allow my receptive mode I know that I am an extension of source energy and I know that I've come into this physical time-space reality with purpose and I know that this time-space reality has served my purpose well I sifted and sorted and decided and I've come to all kinds of conclusions about things that are important to me and I've put them into my vibrational reality where they have been tended to by you source you who is at the basis of my really good day I like knowing that you are aware of me and I like knowing that you will go everywhere I go today I like knowing that you'll be in on the conversations with me that you'll be aware of what my intentions are that you will care about the people that I am interacting with and that you will know what their intentions are I like that this broader view that you hold is available to me and I like that whatever I'm ready for now I will feel an impulse about this is a really good day 
As I move through this day, contrast will still exist. And from it, I will find more things that I desire. I know that in this really good day, that those contrasting experiences are not me being off my path, but still being on my path. I embrace the contrast that comes today and I keep it in perspective because I understand that it's not me leaving my path. I understand it's me still on my path doing what I intended when I came into this time space reality. So I'll sift and I'll sort and I'll come to yet new awarenesses of what I want. And all day I will be keenly aware of the way I feel. I expect that in this day I will feel good all day long good within contrast because I understand it good with my deliberate attention of focus because I understand that better today than ever before because I'm consciously setting forth my intentions at the beginning of this day to utilize my guidance system in the way that I intended to use it when I came into this physical body to begin with this is a really good day my vortex is full of manifested potential. My vortex is a now reality that I can feel my way into. Today I intend to feel exhilaration about things not yet manifested because I understand the reality of them. I now get what true faith is. I get what true belief is. It's an understanding of the way the universe works. It's an understanding that vibration precedes manifestation. It's an understanding that the vibration is a reality. It's an understanding that I can achieve vibrational alignment with that vibrational reality. It's an understanding that I can find that feeling of well being even without the manifestation. I embrace this really good, unconditional day. Today will be full of conditions. There will be driving and traffic and people and business and commerce. There will be conversation. There will be all kinds of information about all kinds of things. And I accept that as the basis of my manifested reality. But there will also be insights and emotions. There will also be knowledge. There will also be information coming from source there will also be me in the receptive mode this is a really good day I will have more awareness of my vibrational reality today than I ever have before I will be more aware of the way I feel than I've ever been before and while I will be moving about a physical manifested material world and I will be embracing it and I will be applauding it and I will be appreciating it I am also predominantly unconditional in my beingness today maybe for the very first time at least better than I've ever been before because today the way I feel is not dependent upon the conditions that have already manifested is dependent upon the vibration that I sense the vibration that I'm tuned to the vibration that I understand the vibration that my source holds the vibration that I have access to the vibrational frequency of who I am today is a really good day today I'm going to pronounce myself an emotional being which means today I'm going to pronounce myself a vibrationally astute being which means today I'm going to pronounce myself aware of my guidance system and using it to the best of my ability I understand that the source within me is aware of where I stand in relationship to everything that I desire and I believe with all that I am that my inner being is guiding me along the path of least resistance which also happens to be the path of my greatest joy the path of my greatest clarity and the path of my most fun so I pronounce today on this really good day that no matter where I am going and no matter what I am doing and no matter who I am doing it with that it will be my dominant intent 
to hold myself in the place of feeling good today is the day that I pronounce as my day of greatest appreciation today is the day that I pronounce as my day of greatest awareness today is the day that I pronounce as my day of greatest emotional awareness and emotional response to my awareness today I am pronouncing myself a liver of unconditional love unconditional clarity unconditional alignment unconditional attunement today I am tuned in tapped in turned on to who I really am today I intend to the best of my ability to fulfill myself as I have meant to be fulfilled today I'm going to look for reasons to feel good and I will find them and if I stumble upon something that doesn't feel so good I will revel in the perfection of my guidance system and I will make the adjustment today good night <laughs>